satisfaction guarantee. What is a satisfaction guarantee and why do house cleaners need them? We're going to discuss that today. Hi there, I'm Angela Brown and this is Ask a House Cleaner. This is a show where you get to ask a house cleaning question and I get to help you find an answer. Now today's show is brought to us by housecleaning360.com. It's a referral database of the best of the best in home service providers. If you need a house painter, if you need a house cleaner, you need a home organizer, you maybe are a hoarder and you need help with junk removal, or you need the side of your house painted, maybe you need a landscaper, who knows what you need, but if it's somebody that services the home, go to housecleaning360.com. It's a 360 view of a cleaner, better home. Alrighty, now on to our show, which is about a satisfaction guarantee. Alrighty, so there are a lot of house cleaners that are really scared of the satisfaction guarantee because they're afraid that the homeowners are just trying to eke more cleaning out of them for free. So how do you set that up so that nobody's taken advantage of anybody when you offer a satisfaction guarantee? All right, the very first thing that we need to talk about is what is a satisfaction guarantee? What is the standard in the industry? The standard in the industry is this. If I come clean your house and then I leave, and for whatever reason you find something that I skipped or I missed, then I will come back within 24 hours and I will make that right. I will clean that free of charge or you get your money back. So you can offer a money back guarantee or you can offer a cleaning guarantee to make that right. Most of the house cleaners prefer to come back and clean so they can keep the money that pays their employees. Okay, so that's the standard satisfaction guarantee. But here's the question. What if it's the house cleaner's word against the homeowner's word? Who's right? Because the house cleaners say, well, I already cleaned that. I know I already cleaned that. Now the homeowner came home and they said I didn't clean it, but maybe someone came in after me and they messed up the house. That also happens. So one of the ways that we've resolved that inside our company and a, a way that I'm a huge fan of is to use a worksheet. Now the worksheets, if you don't have a worksheet, I've got one for free. You can download it and I'll put the links in the show notes. You can download it and edit it and make it your own. The satisfaction guarantee is this. We have a worksheet that has all of the different tasks that we do on a regular house cleaning. It's things like emptying the trash or cleaning the blinds or wiping off the countertops or whatever it is. And it's broken down by room. So depending on the day, because every single house cleaning is going to be a little bit different. And if you promise you're going to clean everything in a house, well, that's almost insane because sometimes the house is going to be way messier than before and you only have a certain amount of time. So you're going to check off the things that you did and the things that you check off are the things that you are guaranteeing in your satisfaction guarantee. Does that make sense? All right. So having said that, Let's say that there are three things that you did not get to today because the house was super extra messy and the client knows it was super extra messy. They can't call you and say, hey, these three things did not get done. You get on back here and clean it for free. If it's checked off, we guarantee it. If it's not checked off, we didn't do it, right? We didn't get around to doing it because the house was extra messy or whatever. So having said that, what you check off is what you're guaranteeing. So when you do your final inspection and you walk through the house and you're checking stuff off, yes, I know for a fact this is 100% up to my standard of excellence. I will guarantee this particular part of your house. And so when the customer calls and they say, hey, there's something that got missed, is it on that list? If it's on that list, I am coming right back because yes, I know for a fact I cleaned it. All right, so what happens when there's someone that comes in after you? And this is notorious for houses that have teenagers or maybe there are seniors that live in the house and then the homeowner is at work all day and somebody comes in and makes a sandwich and leaves breadcrumbs all over the house and there's breadcrumbs in the toaster and there's stuff in the sink and it's just a mess, right? Then the homeowner comes home and they're like, holy crap, my house is a mess. It's not clean at all. So by having that on your worksheet, that allows the customer to know that you did in fact do it before you left. But if there are repeat offenders, you may want to take pictures of the rooms you just cleaned, then text those to the homeowner when you leave the house. Hey, by the way, uh, Sherry, I'm leaving your house right now. I just wanted to let you know that there are three teenagers in your house, but these are the rooms of your house. Click those and send those to her so she can see how clean the house looked when you left. Because then she can't call you back and say, no, the house was a mess. Uh, 
it, it didn't pass, come on back. All right. So are you offering a no questions asked money back guarantee? If you are, I'm going to suggest that you stop because if you have a customer that calls you to come back, you need to be able to ask questions about why they called you back. Is this something you've been missing frequently? Is this something they just noticed? If they could change one thing about your cleaning, what would it be? This is a perfect opportunity for you to do a little bit of reconnaissance and find out if the customer is satisfied with your work. They're not right now in this moment because they called you back for the guarantee, right? But if you get the opportunity to go back and the customer's there, come on in and watch me work. Come on in and point it out to me. Show me what I can do to improve and get them involved. When you get them involved, now they are taking ownership of the problem. If they know they're going to have to get involved and they're going to have to become part of the process, a lot of times it's not even worth their hassle. But by offering a satisfaction guarantee, what you're doing is you're removing all of the risk. So if you are a new house cleaner and you're just getting involved in the business, and maybe you don't have any referrals or recommendations or references yet, when you go to a customer and you say, hey, I have a satisfaction guarantee, that removes all the risk. And they say, well, what have I got to lose? If I'm not happy, I don't pay. And it's one of the very first things we do coming in. I know there are a lot of house cleaners that have these books and portfolios of before and after pictures, and they try to sell the customer on the great work that they do. The greatest work you're ever going to do is right there at the customer's house. So if a customer calls you and says, I need my house clean, and you just say, hey, I've got an opening Monday from 8 until 12. Why don't I come over to your house and I will clean your house at that time? And I offer a satisfaction money back guarantee. And if you're not satisfied for whatever reason, you won't owe me for that cleaning. If you do like my cleaning, let's go ahead and pull out our calendars and we will book you in as a regular customer. How does that sound? And they're like, well, yeah, I need my house clean. Sure enough. And then you go over and you audition for the job. There's nothing to lose. And if you're a brand new startup house cleaner, it's a beautiful way to get your practice on house cleaning, get your foot in the door, meet a new customer, show them what you're worth and walk away with the job. It's awesome. So should you have a satisfaction guarantee? I highly recommend it. And I recommend that you put tabs on it by having a worksheet that you check off as you go. Because with the worksheet, you know what you've cleaned and your customer knows what you've cleaned. And so instead of the homeowner coming home and looking around and saying, hmm, what did my house cleaner do today? I'm a little bit confused. So if you're thinking about offering a satisfaction guarantee, my suggestion is yes, you do, because all of your competitors are. And you want to make sure that you are up to standard with everyone else in the industry. Alrighty, so that's my two cents for today. And until we meet again, leave the world a cleaner place than when you found it.